Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. Together we record a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So, without further ado, let's show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. We are still here in Brixham. I've persuaded Mr Warner to come for a walk with me. This doesn't often happen. Mr Warner is a reluctant walker. Yeah, he's okay if he's walking to a destination. He can't just do that aimlessly, just go for a walk. So, I've said, why don't we walk along the southwest coast path and go to the Guard House Cafe? Yeah, they do exceptionally good coffee and a very good bacon roll there. So, with that in mind, Mr Warner's agreed. I've got other good news. Glenn's sister, Debbie, she's going to come down and stay for a couple of days. She's going to come down this afternoon after work. Right, Mr Warner, are you up for this? <laughs> Great view. You can't see it on camera, but this is a bit of a trek up here. This is an absolutely great spot. So obviously something to do with pin, oh, I thought, I thought, obviously a pin for the out. I thought it was a button to no, press, like an emergency button. It's a, I think it's a pin to see how far it's going down. Ah. We have made it to Berry Head. Oh, there's some ups and downs on that path. Yeah, let's go see what that says. Across the bridge. Yeah. What's it say, Mr. Warner? It would have been up. So that's that building over there, that's the guard so, house. So that so it was, is that. It was constructed in 1795 and 1805 during, during the, the wars, wars with France. France. So, yeah, so basically that, that, that wall's still intact. That's that building over far yonder. <laughs> over there. Yeah. Wow. And these are still, you still see the remnants of this. They know how to make a good building right, back in there, them days. Right? Still there over there, look. Glenn's got breakfast in a sandwich. That was such a delicious sandwich. Such a good place to stop there. It's so popular as well. Anyway, let's have a stroll down to the bottom and then we're going to walk down through down into Brixham. Powder magazine 1802. Powder was stored here for the gun battery that defended the naval anchorage in Torpay. Oh, so it's actually a lighthouse. Yeah, well, of course. There must have been some rock sticking out in the sea. <laughs> I didn't know it was a lighthouse. I was expecting it to be tall. So we're following the coast path into Brixham now. Lots of people in Shellstone Pool today. Busy beach today. We're walking up a road we've never been to before. Oh man, look at those steps. You wouldn't want to be carrying the shopping up those. Well, we've gone off piste in a way we thought would be a shortcut back. But now it appears that we're walking away from where we want to be. Glenn is looking at Google as if it's going to give us all the answers. There's a campsite there, I have no idea where that is. I've no idea where we are to be honest. It's Wall Park Touring Caravan and Sentry Road Camping Site. Well, we found out we've sort of done a circle from Berry Head and we've come back to almost to Berry Head. So that wasn't quite the shortcut that I had in mind. We made it back. Oh, a shower changed. I'm now sitting with my feet up. Glenn is washing the windows. Debbie is on her way down here, so she'll be here in just under four hours. And we're looking forward to seeing her. So we've had a very lazy afternoon indeed. After we got back from that walk, we just sat down. We were like, I can't be bothered to do anything. Okay. Glenn has washed windows. I did and video edit. And Glenn did a load of washing as well. So to be honest, we did a fair bit, but there was a lot of sitting around. Anyway, we are now going to walk around to the reception. We want to buy some drinks for the shop for dinner. I've ordered dinner to be delivered from the best fish and chip shop we have found in the area which is david's debbie is on her way we reckon she's probably about i don't know 
half an hour away something like that let's go we're gonna go and buy some cold drinks for dinner from the shop before it closes at seven and then sit and wait for deb so deb's arrived she made it down in one piece didn't <laughs> you how was the drive deb it was long it was long <laughs> but she did it yeah. and deb has brought us a bag of deliciousness look at that all the deliciousness good morning and welcome to sunday you find us still in brixham and we're here with Debbie, also known as Auntie Debbie. We are off for some breakfast. I've been out for a walk this morning. I did just over six miles, so that's not a bad way to start the day. But now I definitely do need some breakfast. Come on, let's go. So we're gonna have some breakfast. and We're taking a chance here. We are coming down to the car park that we got blocked in at, but we've learned our lesson from that. We will make sure that we are parked in in an allocated space there's plenty of parking today and we haven't gone into the overflow car park which is where the disaster happened last time let's go get some breakfast i'm starving now so we've had breakfast that was very lovely we did have to eat with bamboo forks and knives which glenn and debbie both because they don't know their own strength broke their utensils in their hand <laughs> like that i managed to keep mine intact I'm, I'm very proud of it we are now heading to torquay with a stop off <laughs> at cockington mr warner got us in a parking space some more of those uh, seaside swans there glenn's got a delicious ice cream i'm gonna have just a lick deb's got praline and banana split it's like piccadilly circus in here this morning there's boats all over the place lots of boats you can see here the damage from that boat that caught on fire lots of boats coming in now oh and an eye going out look at those swans i've never seen them so far out in the sea gutted <laughs> so we're on the open top bus and Deb's not impressed with it. She's not impressed. The man gave us senior citizens rate because Deb was moaning about the price. Anyway, we're here. It's going to be great. It's been 1844. If you follow the coastline around, you can see the small towns of Doyle, Teemouth, straight across to Exmouth, and on a very small day, we can see right around the Portland Hill. You'll see a new build. See a new build in front of us. This way, the Portland Towers Hotel used to be. <laughs> but in this bay during the summer months we expect to get the baskin sharks coming in and the dolphins as well so we've just stepped off the bus preston sands this is i think glenn and debbie at the kiosk just getting a cold drink then we'll be back on the bus so that was a very lovely open top bus ride deb had her misgivings but now she was like that was all right that was so we are heading back to brixham but we're gonna take a little detour i did say to debbie that parking is quite restrictive there so we'll see if they if we can stop we will if not it'll be just a drive through through the rose garden Blacksmith's Forge, Rex Latham, Blacksmith. We've had a stroll around, back through the Rose Garden. There's some more little shops just to the right of here. Dark chocolate, pineapple, creme truffle, and um, what would Glenn like? I'm trying to think what would Glenn like, but also what he wouldn't like that I would like if he didn't want it. <laughs> Go for the salted caramel. Thank you. <laughs> and let's go white chocolate grapefruit. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. In case he doesn't like that, then I could eat it. <laughs> hey Glenn, Deb got some delicious chocolates. A salted caramel and a gr white chocolate grapefruit. grapefruit. But if you don't want that, you can have the Bailey's one. No, that one. What's that one? Oh, that's mine. <laughs> no, so you, this one's mine. You, yeah. No, actually, you could, well, that one was a milk chocolate. And what was it there? That's coffee. Coffee, coffee creme, and that was a pineapple one. So what one did you want? Well, no, I got you those two, but okay. you could you also, can you, you can have. have I'll just have this one. Sorry. Yeah. 
have the bonus one as well. well Feel free. I'm, I'm going to go with this one, which was the dark chocolate pineapple creme. There's a cricket match going on. Well, we've had a very pleasant time here. I had a cup of tea and a cheese scone. And now we're meandering back to the car. I've done over 20,000 steps today, so I'm feeling quite happy with myself. And we're walking down into Brixham later. A lot of the leaves coming off the trees. I wonder if that's because we had no rain for ages, whether it's brought autumn on sooner. Glenn and Deb are talking about the journey home tomorrow. Deb's not looking forward to it already. The Weaver's Cottage, absolutely stunning. Past the old schoolhouse and back to the car park we go. So we've scrubbed up. We've had a quick refresh yeah. and now walking into Brixham where we're going to the Prince William for dinner. I'm very excited about this. Last time we went, Glenn had the ribs and they looked amazing. And I know what I'm gonna have already before I even see the menu. I'm going for the ribs. Cheers. We've moved on to the pina coladas now. We've had a lovely meal, we're so full now. Gonna head back to the caravan. Gathering of swans again, of those seawater swans. Good morning and welcome to Monday. Do I look like I've been crying? I have been crying. Queer eye. That's <laughs> yeah. all I'm saying. I've been watching it on telly. So emotional, made me cry. Happy tears, obviously, happy tears. We are off to Dartmouth today. We're taking Debbie on the little car ferry. We're going to take the crabbing nets. We're going to have a wander. We're just going to enjoy today, which, if you're watching from overseas, it's bank holiday. Public holiday. A lot of people get a day off. So, come on, let's go. This is a lovely day out here. So, as we head into Kingsweir, we're wondering if there'll be a big queue for the ferry. So far, so good. Oh, let's all go down here. Lots of delivery vehicles. Hopefully we won't have to wait long for the ferry. And we are going now onto the little ferry. This is the lower ferry. Getting as many cars as they can on this ferry. And we're off. The boat that's towing us is spinning round. I love watching this. I think he's leaving us. He doesn't. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right, we're on the lookout for a parking space. We found a parking space. We've got this one for two hours and then we may have to come back and move it. Just having a mooch around the shops with Deb. Some fudge shop. Deb, that is what you call a hanging basket. Look at that. It's magnificent. It's about four foot long. Oh, look. Look at these. Lots of lovely little shops to browse in. So I've just seen this gorgeous platter here. It's absolutely lovely. And guess what? Deb's bought it me for Christmas. Deb has actually fallen in love with Dartmouth. She loves it here. Breezy day today, but beautiful. I am so chuffed with this beautiful platter that Debbie's bought me for Christmas. It is beautiful. That is us. We're leaving Dartmouth, and it's been very nice too. Deb's bought some pasties to take home, and they're hot. The smell is filling the car. We're getting on the ferry, the steam train's over the other side, just heard its whistle. This is a bigger ferry, this one. Steam train. Over we go, we barely know we're moving. I'm incredibly happy with my new shoes. I actually wore a hole in the bottom of my last ones. They had to go in the bin. So I know I really shouldn't show you until Christmas Day, but 
let me show you the Christmas present that Deb has brought me. I'm more excited about this than I think any present I've had. <laughs> Apart from a National Trust membership from Mr Warner. But let me show you this. Look how gorgeous this is. It is the most beautiful plate I have ever seen. So, a very pleasant day we've had. Mr Warner and Debbie heading home now. Two separate cars. In two separate cars, yeah. Glenn is going to be back in Thursday. just a couple of days. So three, three days. Eh? Three days. Three so sleeps. Three sleeps. Mr Warner will be really back. Fun. Deb, have you enjoyed oh, Devon? Fantastic time. Love it, love it, love it. She loves it, loves it. Deb wants to move down. <laughs> These guys are going to get going and you'll be stuck with me. Off Glenn goes. Off Debbie goes. I hope they have a good journey back home. It was so lovely to see Deb this weekend. I know she was really nervous about the drive down, but she did it. And hopefully now, because she had such a great time, she'll come and visit us more when we're down here. Since Debbie and Glenn have gone, I've had a good tidy up. I've hoovered. I've got changed. And now I'm going for a walk. So, come on, let's go. Can I just say, not a super long walk, just like maybe a couple of miles. So I'm going to save me long walk for tomorrow. Keeping my eyes open for the cows. I think they've gone. Oh, the cows have gone. Uh-oh. The cows haven't disappeared. They're just down there. Ignore them, ignore them. Let's go this way. Oh, I'm back in now. That was just a short three and a half miles. So I just wanted to get a short walk done. I'm now coming back, I'm going to jump in the shower, I'm then going to sit on this sofa and watch the glorious sunset over there. So what a journey it's been, I'm just at Shiverham, I might pop into McDonald's because literally I haven't had any dinner, well actually I haven't had anything to eat since this morning. And the traffic on the M5 was horrendous. Anyway, and I tried to do a little bit of a detour and that didn't work. By the way, it's not that I'm really red. There's actually a car with its brake lights on in front of me, which is making me look really red. Anyway, so I'm going to stop at um, the Shiver and McDonald's. I should be at home just after nine o'clock some time. So it has been about an hour longer than it should have been. I did a bit of a diversion, but that didn't work out for me. So I ended up back on the queue on M5. I needed my navigator next to me to make sure i went the right way good morning welcome to tuesday it is not even eight o'clock yet and i'm at work already got a lot to do today at the end of the day i've got to try and get mrs warner's exhaust back on a smart car so that'll be a that'll be an interesting end of the day good morning and welcome to tuesday that feels like a monday i have had a rubbish start to the day do you know what i did i woke up two hours ago Laid in bed, scrolling Instagram. It's it's like I'm drawn in. I can't stop. I just keep scrolling and watching complete rubbish. It's such a waste of time. I don't know why I do it. Anyway, it is now quarter past seven. And I am going for a walk. The reason why I'm going for a walk so early, I have a lot of work to do today. So I know I'll be sitting down for most of the day. So I thought, get out, get a walk done, get the blood pumping, and then come back and do the work, and then maybe a walk later. That's my plan. Anyway, come on, let's go.
over 11,000 steps, but it was quite an eventful walk. I walked down into town. It was a breezy old day. There was some litter flying around. The flags were flapping. The waves were overlapping. It was invigorating. Let's just say that. Anyway, gonna grab a shower, gonna sit down, do some work, and I'll catch up with you later. I've sat down all day, all day. It is now just gone four o'clock. Yeah, I need to stretch my legs. So I'm going for a little stroll, just a little one, to the shop. I'm gonna get some milk, maybe grab a cup of tea at the cafe on the way back. Oh, by the way, I read some research earlier and it said that people had, who had more than two cups of tea were less likely to get a hot attack or some, something like that. Anyway, it was a positive news article about drinking tea, so I'm all up for it. Good afternoon, I'm home from work. I'm actually just fitted Mrs Warner's exhaust. You know, if I said it hadn't been a shit of a job, I'd be absolutely lying. It's in under there. I've still got to put the car back together, but I'm going to see if it's going to blow. Put the two new sensors on and see if there's any lights on. But I've got a feeling it might blow because this connection up here was almost impossible to get to. Absolute nightmare. Mrs Warner's not going to like that. It sounds like a racing exhaust because it's not got as much baffles in as the other one. It's a bit cheap and cheap and cheerful, but it sounds like a motorbike. Are you ready? It sounds like a racing car. She's going to think she's like a boy racer. Right, I've just done Mrs. Warner's dispatches, including a Be Kind Hoodie. So thanks, John, for ordering that. That'll be in the post this week. So, because I haven't had any dinner yet, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to give the app too good to go again. So I went for a bag at Starbucks. So I'm going to go in and get it and see, let's see what we get. What's in the bag? So we have Starbucks smoothie, Starbucks little shot drink, hickory cham, ham and cheese toasty, but I'll have to toast somehow. A cookie. Right, that's me done for the evening. It's about half past ten. I spoke to Mrs. Warner. I've got to work tomorrow, and then Thursday, go and pick my mum up, and we're going down for the weekend. So, uh, hopefully, we'll be back down in Devon on Thursday. Good morning, and welcome to Wednesday. My last day at work today, this week. So that's a nice short week. I'm going to take the racing smart car today to give it to give it a run and save the fuel in the Gulf because obviously I've got to go to Devon tomorrow. So let's take that and. Uh, See how it goes. Hello and welcome to Wednesday. It's not morning. I haven't said hello all day. I literally rolled out of bed this morning, went straight to the table and I've worked all day. So that's where I've been sitting all day. About one o'clock I thought I need a break from the screen and I literally went for a small walk but that is it. I haven't spoken to anyone all day. I haven't seen anyone. So I'm gonna go to bingo tonight. Yeah, lonesome bingo. Come on, let's go. It looks like it's been such a lovely day as well. I've missed the whole thing. Well, that's that day done. So, sorry I didn't take any footage today. I nipped to the boat after work, just to make sure everything's all right. Um, and everything was, that was all fine. Gonna get changed, put my stuff in the washing machine, ready for when I get back. Obviously tomorrow, got to pick my mum up and then I'm off down back down to Devon for a few days. And then I wanna get packed and make sure the house is clean before I leave in the morning. Hello, good morning and welcome to Thursday. I decided I wasn't going to make the mistake I did yesterday. I was not going to roll out of bed and then sit at the table and work all day. No, going to get a walk in early. So come on, let's go. from my walk I've put a load of washing on I've had a shower I've got changed now. I'm ready to sit down and do some work but I am only doing a couple of hours today yeah not another long day of work I've got the meaningful midweek conversation at midday I'm so looking forward to that and then Glenn is coming down with his mum for the weekend so looking forward to that too anyway I'm gonna crack on good morning and welcome to Thursday I'm going to pick my mum up she's coming down to the caravan for a few days yeah let's go back to the caravan the worst part of this journey is now I'm going down to the M25 so that means I'm gonna to have to go around the M25 nobody needs that and the M1 Anyway, never mind. Let's go and get me mum. 
I've been working like a whirling dervish. Yes, I have. I've been working hard all morning. I've just made myself a cup of coffee and I'm going to sit down and chat to Paul and Maxine. So looking forward to catching up with them. So Glenn is due here any moment with his mum. So just having a quick tidy up and looking forward to him arriving. Good morning and welcome to Friday. I've completely lost track of days this week, but it's definitely Friday. What are we up to? Well, you've done this before, so you're probably bored to death with this, but we're gonna take Glenn's mum on the steam train. We're gonna go from Paynton to Dartmouth on the steam train and the ferry, and you are welcome to come along too. Then sorting out the parking. Sun's coming out. Here comes the train. Once on the all passengers, please have their tickets ready for inspection. Thank you. We are off. You will find the ferry to Dartmouth at the far end of the platform, just beyond the station buildings. Well, this is perfect timing. We've just got the ferry back, the train's in the station. There's the engine going to turn round. As we leave Kingswear on our way back to Paynton. Got a squeaky bit of the train. Yeah. Let's go. So that's it, we're back at the car now and we've got our scones, we've got our jam and we've got our cream. We're going back for a cup of tea and a cream tea. All right, Mr. Warner. Now, if you're watching from overseas, in Devon, they eat it. Is it jam, then cream? And then Cornwall is cream, then jam. Someone who's either from Devon or Cornwall, please correct us. Let us know whether we're eating it the Devon way or the Cornish way. We've really enjoyed sharing our week with you. Sorry that it's a bit shorter than normal, but thank you so much for watching. If you've got to the end. Well done. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. See ya. Take care, bye.